West of the Continental Divide and nine miles south of the Canadian border is a town worth celebrating. Ready, set. Big Sky Country brought even bigger scissors for the occasion. Whoa. VFW Post 6786 in Eureka, Montana, a town of just 1,100, became the first site in the country to have access to VA virtual health care through Atlas. Accessing telehealth through local area stations is VA's solution to providing timely care to veterans who live long distances from VA medical centers. Stepping foot inside the Atlas pod instantly connects veterans to their health care teams and, in this case, eliminates a four-hour drive to the closest VA medical Medical Center for nearly 300 veterans in the Eureka community. It's an incredible feeling. Dr. Leonie Hayworth is VA's national synchronous lead for telehealth services. And I think what Phillips did very well is they listened to what we said it would take to bring best in class care to veterans. And Phillips brought their expertise in design to create a comfortable and therapeutic environment for veterans to receive their health care services. Um, so with their creativity, with their experience in an ambient environment, and with the experience that other partners like Steelcase have in building a robust pod, um, and what we know veterans need as far as their health care, um, it really was collaborative experience to build something wonderful. Eliminating barriers to accessing health care for veterans has been one of the top priorities for VA in recent years. VA's Anywhere to Anywhere initiative was announced in May 2018 and enabled VA to care for veterans regardless of their location. Atlas is an extension of that campaign. We would like to offer the best in class VA care to every veteran um, and have that be in a location of their choosing and have the environment set up the optimal telehealth experience. The Veterans Health Administration cares for 9 million veterans across the country and the Office of Rural Health estimates that almost a quarter of those veterans live in rural areas. Of those veterans in rural areas, 27% of them lack broadband internet access in their home. The case in Eureka was no exception. Members of VFW Post 6786 had to push for a new fiber optic line to be installed in their building for Atlas to even become a possibility. Crews on the road to Eureka could be seen installing these lines on the day of the event in neighboring towns. That internet connection is the foundation to making this possible. For a veteran to be able to receive a quality telehealth experience is really something that we strive for in VA telehealth. The veteran can see their provider clearly. The veteran can hear their provider clearly. And then the veteran can be in a comfortable space to go through whatever discussion um, needs to happen at that particular encounter. But imagine what you can do for education of rural community members when it it comes to using technology. So you can come to this space, you can hook up to the Wi-Fi, you can learn how to use VA's My Healthy Vet, the e-health portal for patients, you can learn how to self-schedule your own appointments online, um, and communicate with your care teams who might be hours away. Um, and do so at your own leisure um, through the use of technology, either in this space or your own personal technology. It's a win-win-win for the community. William Doc Schmitz is the National Commander-in-Chief for the Veterans of Foreign Wars. It's freaking tremendous. And the good part is, this is going to go in the civilian world. This is going to go in the communities eventually. And we're on the cutting edge to help the VA and the VA help us take any potential bugs out of it or modifications in it. And the technology is in it. This is extremely exciting for the VFW. And it's community based. VFW Post and American Legion sites across the country will host additional Atlas pods in the near future. All have the same goal of increasing access to health care for veterans.